Hello friends, may God greatly bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, we get to your, in your home with our stop suffering. And I have this word I would like to share with you today. I, I, don't, I don't mean I just want you to read some Bible words, no. But I want you to hear what God has for you. Are you facing problems? Do you want to see a change in your life? Do you believe in the God of the Bible? The promise that are written here, you believe they are from God, so what is written you make a change in your life Today, for the, living, for the living God, he has the power to change your situation. Let me read this with you now. Book of Mark, chapter 2, verse 17. Excuse me, verse 27. It reads, Mark 2, 17. I'm getting confused. <clears throat> like this. When Jesus heard it, he said to them, those who are well have no need of a physician. But those who are sick, those who are okay, they are very healthy, they don't need the doctors. Only those who are sick, Jesus said. And he concludes saying, I did not come to call the righteous. But sinners to repentance. The Lord Jesus is making a very clear statement here. He came for you who is sick on your soul. You have a broken heart. You who can't sleep at night. You who are battling with problems that seem they will never end. Because this situation is again and again in your life for many years. And you keep on wondering, asking, when will my suffering come to an end? Why am I living this situation? Why do I have it to face all these problems? Friends, we are here showing to you solution. Here, Jesus made it clear. He came to those who are sick. In the body, in the soul. You perhaps were disappointed. You were betrayed. You bring inside of you a pain for five, for ten years. And you wonder, will one day it finish? Well, he came for you. Whoever pain. You may be say, but I have mistakes, I have sins. 
He came for the sinners as well. He came to all those who want to change their situation, want to stop suffering. And I want you to, to invite you to join me in prayer now. No matter what is your situation, are you suffering? Are you in pain? Are you tired of this situation? So I'm talking to you. You are going to pray with us right now. And we are going to ask God for help. Something shall change in you there where you are. Get a glass of water. Hold it there with you. We are going to pray and we will ask God to bless this water in your hands. After drinking, you see what you change inside of you. If you don't have it, it doesn't matter. We are going to pray as well. And the living God will help you in Jesus' name. Stay with us. Right after this, we come back praying now. My Lord and Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray for this person at home who, who believes your word, who believes when you said you came to those who are sick. And this person is sick with addiction, with depression, with suicidal thoughts, sick with many family problems. Married right now is on a is about to be a divorce. A family is about to be broken. So many problems that this person can no longer sleep. Cannot have one minute of peace. There are still those who are in pain. They are sick. And they need your help, my father. The truth is, my Lord. There are people praying with us in this moment because they are tired of suffering. They've been in this situation for many years. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against this problem. We come against the pain that affects the body and the soul of this person. You cannot stay in this life. It is written. That the Lord came for them. To set them free. So you. Pains, sadness, depression, addiction, get out of this life. Sleepless night, get out of this life. Whatever caused this person not to be well, get out in Jesus' name. My Lord, glorify the name of your son Jesus, bless in this world. In the moment they drink of it, let your 
power. Bring a refreshment in their soul. But if they don't have the what? You touch them in the same way, my father. For the glory of your name. I say to you, friends. Be free. Become healed right now. Receive strength. And be blessed. In Jesus' name. Look here. Drink of your water now. Go ahead. Receive strength. You who had pain become healed from all this pain. Be completely free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Amen. Amen. You can call the number you see on your screen. And share with us what happened to you. What God did in your life. Or perhaps you want further assistance. You'd like to talk to us. Well, we are ready to assist you. Call the number. Let us know how we are going, how we can help you. But one thing I know for sure, we believe the word. And if it is written here, it will be done in your life. Because the God of the Bible does not fail. He is God. Talking about that, this coming Sunday, we are going to be on a very special service. For those of you who want to find peace, Peace deep inside your soul. We don't talk about peace of a moment of entertainment. No. We talk about the peace that comes and stays inside. You who have watched our programs before. How many testimonies you already heard? How many people's lives you heard being transformed by the power of God? Today we determine that the transformation takes place in your life. And this coming Sunday, exactly at 10 a.m., we are going to be starting this prayer. The Sunday of an encounter with God. An encounter with peace. You may ask, can I really find peace? You need to come and see. You can see. You, you can see the picture of the church. For more information concerning the address, you call the number. But it's not a difficult place to find. Those of you who know uh, Yamaha Ferush in Muhima. Or the roundabout in, in town. The road that connects Nyabugogo and town. We are few meters from Yamaha Feruji going to town. The picture you see on your screen is the picture of the church. Is there where God is transforming life? He wants to transform us. This coming Sunday at 10 a.m. Friends, May the Holy Spirit greatly bless you all. Bless you, bless your family. And stay in peace. I would like to have the opportunity to pray for you. To talk to you. 
You can come this Sunday. We will be available to assist you all. You only need to come. The rest, let God do for you. You bring a change upon your life that you stop suffering. May the Lord God be with you all. Be all blessed in Jesus' name.